Good morning, dear friends. I am happy to stand before you today to teach the accounting treatment of closing stock. First of all, I request you to activate the CC icon on this video. Then you will get the script of my lecture also. Then come to the accounting treatment of closing stock. Unsold goods with the business at the end of the accounting year is called closing stock. When goods are purchased in the business, it is recorded by debiting the purchases account. If purchases are fully utilized in the business during a particular accounting year, there will not arise any closing stock. But if a part of the purchases remains unsold, it is called a closing stock. It is recorded in the business by passing a special journal entry at the end of the accounting year. Since closing stock is an asset, it is debited and the journal entry may be either of the two. Number one, closing stock account at a to trading account or number two, closing stock account at a to purchases account and the difference I will explain at a later stage. See dear friends, value of the closing stock is calculated by following the convention of conservatism. Convention of conservatism says that don't expect to make a profit. He expects that you will make possible losses. In other words, conservatism says that Anticipated profits are not considered, but anticipated losses should be taken into consideration. By applying this convention of conservatism, closing stock is valued by applying a special rule. And that rule is this, cost price or market price, whichever is lower. Cost or market price, whichever is less. That I mean, by considering the possible losses, lowest of the two items, that is cost price or market price, should be taken as the value of the closing stock. Lowest price should be taken as the value of closing stock. If cost price is 10,000 and market price is 8,000, then market price of 8,000 will be the value of closing stock. On the other hand, if cost price is 10,000 and market price is 13,000, then cost price will be the value of closing stock. Therefore, value of closing stock should be taken as cost or market price, whichever is lower. See, dear friends, closing stock is an asset of the business. Therefore, it appears at the asset side of the balance sheet. In connection with the preparation of profit and loss account and balance sheet, I like to bring to your attention two important points. Closing stock may be given in the problem under two ways. One is, closing stock may be given in the problem after the trial balance as an adjustment item or additional information. If closing stock is given as an additional information, it implies that no adjusting entries have been passed for it till now. No adjusting general entries have been passed for closing stock till now. Therefore, we have to pass an adjusting general entry that is Closing stock account letter to trading account. Then closing stock will appear at the credit side of the trading account. And again it will appear at the asset side of the balance sheet. Here what's the logic behind crediting closing stock in the trading account? The logic lies behind the matching concept. 
matching concept says that the revenue of a particular accounting period should match with the expenses. We are taking purchases at the debit side of the trading account. In order to match with these purchases, we are considering the unsold part of purchases that is closing stock at the credit side. Then only we will get the actual gross profit. In connection with the preparation of profit and loss account and balance sheet, closing stock may be given in the problem in another style also. The second method is this. Closing stock may be given in the problem in the trial balance as a debit balance. If closing stock is given in the trial balance, it implies that an adjusting journal entry has already been passed for closing stock. For that purpose, the adjusting journal entry is closing stock account debtor to purchases. This implies that closing stock is already adjusted with the purchases. That means purchases given in the trial balance is an adjusted purchase. That is after deduction of closing stock. Therefore, closing stock need not again be taken at the credit side of the trading account. In this case, it will appear the asset side of the balance sheet only. In short, if closing stock is given as an adjustment item in the problem, it should be taken for two purposes. One, credit in the trading account and two, asset side of the balance sheet. On the other hand, if closing stock is given in the trial balance, it will appear at the asset side of the balance sheet alone. From this point, we can arrive at a general conclusion. This is very important. While preparing the trading profit analysis account and balance sheet, any item appearing in the trial balance will be taken only for one purpose. But any item appearing in the adjustment or additional information part should always be taken for two purposes. Then as far as closing stock is concerned, it's the value of stock at the end of the accounting year. Therefore, it will become the opening stock at the beginning of the next accounting year. Opening stock is debited in the trading account and the general entry is trading account letter to opening stock account. Dear friends, I conclude here. I hope that all of you enjoyed this presentation. Please be kind enough to subscribe this channel. Please note down your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you again.